Hi everybody, this is Tani Gutierrez, founder of mattandkitchen.com, um, but this is my weekly blog for We Nomad wehappy.com. Um, so my family and I are traveling for the next 12 months all over the world. Um, we're unschooling, homeschooling our kids as we go, and my husband and I are working as we go because we're both based online, so we could. Um, we are allowing for, you know, renegotiations and reevaluations along the way. If it's not working, then we don't do it anymore. Um, but we're really, you know, have embarked on a nomadic lifestyle. So we're coming up on um, month two, this, uh, day 60 like two days away kind of thing so every week I'm posting what's really kind of like a little you know mini journal because I want to share with you our experience initially I thought it would all be focused on um, fitness and wellness and how I experience it here and our family experiences it here but there's so many things that we're doing that you guys have all asked about so it's just in general life. like what are we doing how are we doing it okay so what did I learn this week um, or what did we learn this week we're learning how to manage our energy levels better. And I say that really from a perspective of tiredness. I think we're all a little more tired than usual. Um, we're a very happy, healthy, you know, energetic, active family, but there are some functional things that have changed for us. And as we come up on, you know, day 60, we've all just been a little meh this week, which has to do with a lot of things, right? Um, but Sam is five, he's our youngest, and we did buy him a stroller to help manage during the day a little bit because it's a lot of walking, right? When you want to explore the city and you want to go places, and that's what you do. So that's been cool and very helpful. Um, our apartment, there's 102 steps to our apartment door, so that's in and out. So if you want to go in or out someplace, that's how many steps you're going to have to take to do it. Um, which, as, even as an adult, you go, whoa, I didn't have to do that before. I drove into my driveway in Austin and then walked my four steps to my front door. Um, so that's a shift, right? That's carrying groceries or packages or backpacks or the stroller that we bought. So there's that. <laughs> um, that's a different energy exchange. And I think we're all just learning to um, manage it and keep up with it. And I've just noticed in the last few days, too, that this sense of calm, like I have boys. And we're all very fiery and energetic in this house, and it's loud and it's noisy and busy. But I have, there's been a registered, like, oh, no, we're, it's just life. Like, we're gonna have breakfast, we'll go walk someplace, and we're gonna draw, and we're gonna do some math, and we're gonna learn a little Spanish, but it's kind of cool. Like, it's, it's, it's becoming much more mellow. <laughs> That's a big thing at our house. And I think that we're just respecting bedtimes much more because, number one, we need the time apart lab togetherness and we need the rest so this week I feel like we've really there's been a highlight on managing um, energy levels um, and I'm shooting every step of the way like I'm shooting workouts and I've got some new projects that I'm excited to share with you that are more shooting we've got this weekly vlog that we're doing now and I wasn't doing it before so there's just a lot more in really beautiful ways but you gotta adjust to it, okay? So the second thing that I learned this week or that I wanted to share with you is that people still really smoke around here, you know? Um, yes, it's European, everybody smokes. And, and I knew it before we got here, and I remember this when we moved from uh, LA to New York, where you just smell it more, you're around it more, because you're outside more and walking, but every you know restaurant and cafe that you sit down at, they hand you an ashtray here. So it's, it's fascinating. Like I, it was, and I had to have discussions. You know, Milo has seen it, knows what it is, but Sam didn't really know, which is awesome, right? Um, but it's much more part of the culture. Duh, we knew that already. Um, but it is very present. It's also not like overly oppressive. It's not like every single person is smoking, but it's definitely here, and there's little tobacco shops in every corner, and yeah, it's here. So, whereas when we were in Austin for the last two years, you know, it's illegal everywhere, you just don't. You don't run into it very much, you don't smell it, you don't see it, and it's kind of out of sight on mind, which is lovely. Here, that's more present. Um, we went to Segovia last weekend. You guys might have seen the posts on Instagram and on Facebook. And it's just this beautiful, sweet, like, uh, charming, charming, it's just darling, um, city. And they have 2,000 year old, you know, Roman aqueducts. Unbelievable. Um, that are still standing and kind of look pristine and gorgeous. And I think they were used up until like 1983. Like, unreal. This incredible, like, epicness of, of you know, 
ground stone that you're standing in front of that has been there for 2,000 years. I mean, humans are amazing. We make amazing things. We're capable of doing brilliant things. So there's this really neat reflection of like how capable we are of solving things way back when. Um, and a little bit of sadness to, you know, so many things going on in the world today that you're like, come on, we've got to step up because we can solve things. Um, and I just that these old buildings that have been, that are giant were built forever ago. You just go, how did they do that? You know, there weren't cranes. I mean, I, I know, I know how they did it, <laughs> but it's just this like sense of smallness in the world, but also sense of greatness. So it's like how capable and wonderful and brilliant and imaginative and creative humans are like, Yes, let's go amplify that and do more of that because the things that are beautiful, if they, they have staying power, right? They're still there, these aqueducts. Um, and one of the silliest, funniest trips that we've taken to um, a castle there that's what all the Disney castles are based on. And so you go, oh, it's kind of cheesy, like whatever. It was one of the most fun little tours that we all took. We all got the little, you know, audio thing and the boys totally got into it. Sam's reading a Magic Treehouse book about knights, so it was lovely. Um, and it was smaller than you kind of think. And again, you know, it's got this lastingness to it and, and, and history that just is really neat. Um, and you look at what people have been building and doing for, you know, so long. Um, and the craftsmanship that goes into stuff is just stunning. So it was really kind of this like lovely reminder of, you know, we're capable of producing beautiful, interesting um, things that really have longevity to them. So it was an exciting week. We learned a whole lot. So if you want to work out with me and learn more about fitness and wellness, head over to mountainkitchen.com. Want to just learn more about me in general, tannygutierrez.com. And if you want to follow my family's travels and my nine-year-old son Milo's blogs, mom and dad have to put them up. Sometimes we're slow. Uh, it's over at we know mad, we happy .com.